In the last video, we looked at a kind of bird's eye view of the WebSphere system, but we didn't really look at a formal definition of many of those concepts. These are the basic terms, the basic concepts in WebSphere Application Server. We have a cell, so we know roughly what that is. It's administrative domain that a deploy deployment manager manages. And, and I'll let you read through these. I don't want to bore you with this, but um, I need to clarify and correct something I said in the last video, that a node is actually not the way I described it, so much as a logical group of one or more application servers on a physical computer. The node name is unique within a cell, and the node name usually is identical to the host name for the computer. So the interesting thing here is that the you can have multiple nodes on a single virtual machine. And the interesting thing about this is even though the what we just saw said that a node would typically be identified by the name of the machine. That's sort of the world before multiple sockets and multiple cores. And now in the world of, you know, a machine that you could have maybe say two sockets, but you could have, you know, 18 different cores on them. And this is, plays a big role in terms of licensing and other things. But the, the, what has happened is that instead of having a single node on that one server, you tend now to have node, 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 all in that same server so that you can take advantage of multiple cores and multiple sockets. And so a natural question to ask is, well, how do you create a node? And it turns out that it's a slightly not intuitive, but it's not too bad. The way it works is you first create a profile because it's inside the profile that information about the cell and the node will all exist. But it's once you create this profile that you create the node. And, if, and in fact, in order to delete a profile, if you want to completely delete the profile, one of the first things you do is run a command that removes the node. So you delete node.sh. And that doesn't delete the profile, but it does delete the node first, and then from there you run a separate command to delete the profile. So the, the point here is that the profile itself is absolutely critical because if you have, say, two different computers, you are going to have two different profiles. And not only that, you're also going to have two different nodes. So you're going to have, say, node, uh, you know, H and, you know, node I. And th this from here actually is where you would put your servers. And then separately you would put your applications. Of course, you would deploy them in here. So those would be your, you know, your apps. So this profile is extremely important. And when you create them, a quick note, don't log in as root to do it in ICFM. And specifically what I mean by that is don't come in here and start the whole process off by typing in root in the case of ICFM. You really want to do this as was manager and log in here. And just so you know where this is located, you would go up to the menu, come down here to web sphere, and then go over to profiles and then notice the all all the four profiles you currently have those are built in but if you want to create a new one you go down to profile management tool which you can tell here is loading this toolbox customization toolbox which is running in eclipse and then you'll see a list of all of your profiles at which point you can create a new one and take a look at this if you create a, a cell then you'll notice that you will also create a deployment manager which runs the cell and this is sort of like a in the world of active directory the cell is a domain and the deployment manager is the domain controller because it's running the entire domain and then you also get a federated application server which which means you just get a server je java ee server like we've been talking about a jvm that goes into that is federated to or in the analogy of active directory is joined to the domain it is joined to federated to the cell but the important thing beyond that is that if you are creating a cell then you are essentially starting out a brand new uh, configuration that can span multiple nodes and beyond that 
every time you create a profile, so if you run through this wizard here, when you're all done, the result will be a new node. It'll probably be some other things too, but you will create a node once you're done with this profile. And I should point out that once you have your new profile, you can go into the profiles directory. And these are the four that come built in that come with ICFM. And notice this SPSS profile. Let's just take it as an example. We'll go in here. Notice this folder called servers. And in that folder, you will see a listing of all the servers on this node. And you'll see two. This most important one is SPSS server but you'll also see the node agent and this is the software that connects back to the deployment manager that connects and synchronizes this node to the cell to, via the deployment manager so the deployment manager is going to contact the node agent so it's really trying to contact this particular node this profile that we're in in other words the, we're in this SPSS profile and the, the SPSS profile contacts home it goes back to its cell by using the node agent. The node agent's gonna contact the deployment manager, and that's, of course, the cell itself. So it's this is the way that changes from the top of the tree or the hierarchy of the system get back down to the leaves, leaves of the system via the deployment manager. And if you go to page 47, you'll actually see this. This is on the that was administration guide that we've been looking at. You can see this in a diagram. So you have your deployment manager listed at the top, and then you have your node agents listed here, and they're going to connect over a port that's going to be listed in serverindex.xml, server which is located inside the profile. And then just so you can see this in practice, if you go to a locate, if you go to your server and type locate serverindex.xml, and you do a grep for SPSS, you're going to see a whole bunch of results, and we're going to talk about why that is in a second. But this is, the, in particular, the one we're looking for. And if you want to open that up and see what the contents look like, let's do that. Here you go. And you can see, look at all these ports listed here. They'll tell you what is going on with the node agent and the orb listener and, and lots of other uh, information. Now, if you're wondering why it is that we're seeing so much repetition where you have config here and server index.xml here, the reason for it is because of this right here, this folder called config. And it's actually pretty well explained on page 42 here. So you'll see that the deployment manager, once we're set up the way we've been talking about, your deployment manager is going to contain this repository. And it turns out that that repository is not some sort of database. It's a series of files. And sure enough, those are the files that have the word config in them. And every single s node is going to have a copy of this config directory listed in it. So if you want to see a list of the nodes, log into the admin console, go down to system administration, and then go to the cell, and then look at this, go to local topology, and now you get a tree view of the entire cell, which is composed of nodes. You can go into the nodes, then go down to SPSS node, which we just looked at. This should look very familiar. You go to servers, and SPSS server and node agent are both listed there. So the name of your node, which remember, comes from the profile. You create the profile, you get a node. It is called SPSS node here, and it's composed of SPSS server and the node agent. And you can see that too, because look at the profile right up here. It says DM profile. That is the profile that's running the deployment manager. In fact, this interface, this web interface here, is the deployment manager's console, as you can see right here. In other words, this admin console, or the administrative console, more formally, and even more formally than that, the integrated solutions console, is created when you create your profile. So that is how you manage the node. Because if you notice, we didn't log into a web interface for the SPSS server. We logged into the interface, the web, the web GUI, for the entire cell using the deployment manager, the DM profile.